the slider for the displacement, and there you go. Welcome to Learning MoGraph for Fusion. Let's get started. All right, welcome back. What if we had a polyline, a mask already that had a shape, and we wanted to connect that and make that the motion path? So how would we go about doing that? So that's kind of the tutorial I wanted to do real quick. Hopefully this will be a quick one. So let's get started. We're going to create a new, excuse me, we're going to create a new composition. We are going to create a background. We're going to add uh, an ellipse. So let's go ahead and view this, fit it, and let's change our color real quick. I'm going to make this ellipse nice and small. So I've got my little animatable object here, and I, um, I want to create a separate motion path. Now maybe we use this motion path for something else in our composition or our motion graphics, and we want to be able to use it as a motion path as well. So how would we do that? So let's go ahead and first create our motion path. So I'm using a mask to do that. So we're going to create a polyline node. And I'm just going to do some outrageous clicks here, just so we know that this is something abnormal. All right, so we've created our mask, our polyline. And maybe we're using this um, in a different part of our motion graphics piece or whatnot. But we want this ball to follow that path. So how would we go about doing that? So first, let's select our polyline that we just created. We're going to right click and we're going to remove. It says remove polyline one polyline. That's just basically it gives you the auto animate feature. So we're going to kind of turn off the auto animate feature. Now we're going to right click back on here and say publish. OK, so we're going to go to our uh, background node that we have here, we're going to add a transform node. So we've added a transform node, we're going to view that. In our transform node, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a path. We don't have any animation on it right now, it's just this blank transform node. So we're going to come over here to our center, we're going to right click on it, and we're going to say path. We're just giving it a path. So let's go to our modifiers tab, let's open up the path. And what we're going to do is this little area that says right click here for shape animation, we're going to right click in there, we say connect to polyline, and that's the value one, right? That's our polyline that we had over here. And now you can see that the ball has moved to the first point of our mask. So there's the first point of where we created our mask. Um, and now our transform has put the center right on that first point. So how would we animate it? If you look, nothing has happened. I'm moving time nothing has changed. Well, how we animate or how we change it is with the displacement parameter. So right now it's got one keyframe. So I'm just going to remove this keyframe. So there's no keyframes on it, no auto keyframing. But if you see, I start to move this slider and it's animating along a path. So from zero to one, zero being the beginning, one being the end and it will just animate along this path. Pretty, pretty cool. I can come to my original polyline. I can come over here and I can make a change and you can see over here in this viewer one screen that it is being adjusted and changed. So let's just change our polyline mask. Go back to our modifier transform. We're gonna just move the slider for the displacement and there you go. The beauty about this is that um, you're not exporting out polylines as motion paths and then re-importing them. So if you wanted to change your motion path, you know, if you're using this motion path in a different part of your composition and you wanted to change it, well, you're not constantly exporting, importing, exporting, importing. You've got this as basically uh, a live feed, if you will. Um, you can do lots of different things from this, but I just kind of wanted to show you that you can create or have a, a mask shape and use that as a motion path for an object. Now, you can also, real quick, let's go ahead and just change our ellipse. I'm just gonna shrink this down so we can kind of make it like a line. And real quick, we can do the same thing that we did before where we um, come to our tools and we go to the angle, we right click and say connect to path one heading. And so now this is following along a path, right? Oops, let me go, I didn't animate anything. Let's go back to the modifiers tab. So if I animate the displacement, now it's following along that path, right? 
So just a real quick uh, tutorial tip on um, a follow-up for uh, the previous one, Auto Orient Along Path. Hopefully this is helpful and shown some new stuff. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we learned something. Take what you learned and make it better.